a dedication to the author of Home Be House Adam Lindsay Gordon there rhymes rudely strung with intent less of sound than of words, in lands where bright blossoms are scentless, and songless bright birds, where, with fire and fierce drought on her tresses, insatiable summer oppresses sere woodlands and sad wildernesses, and faint flocks and herds, where in dreariest days, when all dews end, and all winds are warm, wild winter as large floodgates are loosened d, and floods, freed by storm, from broken up fountain heads, dash on dry deserts with long pent up passion, here rhyme was first framed without fashion, song shaped without form, whence gather d, the locust as glad chirp may furnish a stave, the ring of the rowel and stirrup, the wash of a wave, the chant of the marsh frog in rushes, that chimes through the pauses and hushes of nightfall, the torrent that gushes, the tempests that rave. In the deepening of dawn, when it dapples the dusk of the sky, with streaks like the reddening of apples, the ripening of rye. To eastward, when cluster by cluster, dim stars and dull planets that muster, wax wan in a world of white luster that spreads far and high. In the gathering of night gloom o'erhead, in the still silent change, all fire flushed when forest trees redden on slopes of the range. When the gnarled e, not a trunk's eucalyptian seem carved, like weird columns Egyptian, with curious device, quaint inscription, and hieroglyph strange. In the spring, when the wattle gold trembles twixt shadow and shine, when each dew-laden air draft resembles a long draft of wine, when the skyline as blue burnished dear resistance makes deeper the dreamiest distance, some song in all hearts hath existence, such songs have been mine. They came in all guises, some vivid to clasp and to keep, some sudden and swift as the livid blue thunder flame as leap. This swept through the first breath of clover with memories renewed d to the rover, that flashed d while the black horse turned d over before the long sleep. To you, having cunning to color a page with your pen, that through dull days, and nights even duller, long years ago ten, fair pictures and fever afforded, I send these rude staves, roughly worded by one in whose brain stands recorded as clear now as then, the great rush of gray northern water, the green ridge of bank, the sorrel with curved sweep of quarter curl d close to clean flank, the royal is sad laugh as squarely, and where the bright uplands stretch fairly, behind, beyond pistol shot barely, the round-headed rank. A long launch, with clinging of muscles, and clenching of teeth. The loose doublet ripples and rustles. The swirl shoots beneath. Enough. In return for your garland, in lieu of the flowers from your far land, take wild growth of dreamland or starland, take weeds for your wreath. Yet rhyme had not failed d me for reason, not reason for rhyme, sweet song. Had I sought you in season, and found you in time. You beckon in your bright beauty yonder, and I, waxing fainter, yet fonder, now weary too soon when I wander, now fall when I climb. It matters but little in the long run, the weak have some right, some share in the race that the strong run, the fight the strong fight. If words that are worthless go westward, yet the worst word shall be as the best word, in the day when all right sweeps restward, in darkness or light.